Security and Administration to look into the issue of insecurity in Lake Kipia and table a report in 60 days. The move by the Speaker comes amid a petition by Lake Kipia residents requiring Parliament to investigate the banditry attacks and provide a lasting solution to the perennial scam issues. Persistent banditry attacks in Lake Kipia and its environs. <laughs> The latest being the shooting of three national police reservists patrolling Old Moran village last night, allegedly by two illegal herders, has pushed residents to petition parliament. According to security officers, the three suffered serious injuries. One was shot in the stomach, another one in the leg, and the third had his arm shattered with bullets. <laughs> Kuzabata <laughs> lakini tunajiuliza swali kwa nini hivi vitendo inatendeka sasa hizi tunataka mheshimiwa Matiang atoe oda hawa majangiri wote warokotwe na commissioner wa polisi hata aje hapa aone vile mambo inaendelea hapa MPs now calling upon the committee to ensure justice is served and persons accused of arming the community are prosecuted the petition of the ever calls for urgent resolution of the current land disputes in Lake Kipi are occasioned by historical and emerging acts of injustice in a bid to address the aforementioned manifestations of impunity and disorder. We cannot allow people to come and uh, lie on the hands of, and at the same time incite a uh, population in Lake Kipi, Honorable Speaker. Therefore, Honorable Speaker, as we try to resolve, let also Matiangi appear and explain if they exist that uh, absentee landlord in terms of 15,000 hectares because it can benefit a lot. In the petition, residents enumerated what they say are the causes of insecurity in the area, which includes the issue of absentee landowners, arbitrary arrest of those who act in the interests of the community, human wildlife conflict occasioned by land shortage, opaque land deals, and failure by the Ministry of Lands to act on expired land leases. <laughs> For Prime Edition, I'm Gladys Mungai.